Hey guys, welcome to another video here with Queen City Reefs and more. So today's the day, the mangroves are here. I actually already planted one, but I figured I'd show you what I am doing in case those that want to learn how to do it. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not an expert. As a matter of fact, I did my research about a week back on how to do this and even then I still don't feel comfortable, but we gotta learn somehow, right? I ordered my mangroves from Algae Barn and so I'm gonna just show you what they look like when they were delivered and what I'm doing to get them ready for the tank. All right, so we are here in my kitchen and I'm sure you're all familiar. Okay, so I don't know if you are familiar with it, but this is the Algae Barn box. It was shipped in this and inside of it, I had four mangroves. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of regret ordering four because of the dilemma that I'm having, but I'm gonna still work with this. You of course rip the you know bag open and you are presented with red mangrove. This is how you receive it. You receive it in one of these plastic things and I'm assuming this is so that they won't get bent in this wet towel here. I don't know why I just did that. I licked the towel to see if it was fresh water or salt water. <laughs> Tasted a little salt. They said they're quarantined and everything, so hopefully I don't die. So I've removed one of them from the plastic, and I've removed the, the paper, the wet paper towel, and now I'm gonna cut through, which keeps the mangrove plant from bending while in shipment, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the tank. And so I'm just gonna show you what I do with this one, how I'm gonna put the roots into the already existing sand, and from there, uh, then I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna do the rest of them, and I'll show you the end result. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, something that I thought I was gonna be able to do, but now I know I'm not. And you are left with the mangrove proper gill. Isn't that pretty? My wife was saying that it almost looks like that one character from the Fantastic Beasts movie, which is like the prequel to Harry Potter. Let's uh, head over to the tank, and I'm gonna show you what I do. All right guys, so here's the tank. You'll see one of the mangroves already planted on the left top corner. The reason why I have turned off the actual filter is because the filter is too strong for it. And I was thinking that this probably was gonna end up being perfect, but it's not. It's too strong. You'll see a little dent on the sand and that's from the filter. I had to turn it off because I don't think I'll be able to plant mangroves on those sides without the filter affecting them so for now the water is going to be a little stagnant i've seen people put mangroves in tanks that have no flow in them and then i think tomorrow i will worry about finding a very small pump to circulate water in there and we'll figure out the whole filter issue here all right so now i'm going to go ahead and plant this what i'm doing here because i know you can't be damaging the roots of these of these plants is I'm grabbing them all together and with the these tongs I'm actually pushing the root down so that I can push the mangrove down at the same time I'm probably covering the whole thing I, I think I covered uh, what I did right there but I pretty much I use these tongs to grab these roots and then I push them into the sand to try to avoid damaging them because that's one thing that you have to be careful on is damaging the roots of of these mangroves and so the other one's going to go on that corner the other one will be in this corner and that's how this tank is going to be for now i all right so i'm about to show you the tank now the way it looks i don't think this will be permanent because i definitely want to make sure that i need more sand let's just put it that way i need more sand and i need to figure out the whole filtration issue um I need to actually go buy a light tomorrow. I know they'll be fine without light one day. But uh, I guess the other part of this video is, so funny story. I was at work and I happened to see a post on Facebook about a Melanaris Ras. This past weekend, I was actually looking for one. I went to stores and I was ready to quarantine it and everything. Brought it home. I've been very iffy about those, but it just seems every time I ask someone, they recommend that one as the safest one, not completely safe, but as the safest one for cleanup crews. So I know that he most likely will go after snails. I know that he will most likely go after maybe shrimp, 
I'm, I have big enough shrimp here that I'm hoping he leaves alone. I will tell you that if I see him going after shrimp like that, that most likely I will take him out. We'll see. I, at this point, I just, you know, I, I want to take a chance. The gentleman told me that he does have peppermint shrimp and he leaves his peppermint shrimp alone, but that he does go after Chanel, so I, I was fine with that. Um, hopefully he keeps that same personality here in his tank and he doesn't change. That being said, the funny part to this is that apparently it ends up being somebody that I work with. Now, you all know that I worry a lot about pests, uh, parasites and all that. Um, so initially I was thinking I was gonna put him through quarantine and put him through uh, copper and all that. But the gentleman mentioned that every single fish in his tank has come from a pre-quarantine place and that quarantine place is drquarantinefish.com or something like that, which is where I've actually purchased some of my fish as well. And therefore, I trust that source and I'm actually going to now put him in 310 gallon because of that. The fish looks super healthy. No, he looks completely clean. His breathing is, is not fast, like in the sense of any parasite in his gills, but it's a little faster than normal because I know he's stressed in that bucket, especially because what I am doing is I am putting them through that safety stop treatment where there's two liquids you put you know each liquid goes into one gallon of water so you give a 45 minute bath on that first one and then another 45 minute bath on the second one and I wouldn't be doing this if it was from a store-bought source not saying anything about stores but you know I know that their business is to sell their uh, their pets and their the turnaround you know it's like some fish come in i've been that customer i've been that customer to to they get a fish and because you know that you don't want someone else to get it i can't afford to wait that two uh two week period to see if it does well in their store because someone else might come by and say you know what screw it i want it right now so same thing you know i've been that person to buy fish but i those fish are the ones that i bring home and i put in a quarantine tank and i quarantine them so I'm gonna show you the fish here now. I'm gonna put him in and most likely he's gonna hide so you won't see him today, but in a future video, you'll definitely see it. And then I'm gonna show you the tank to show you what it looks like as of now. We're gonna end the video there and I will bring you back in another update of what this tank looks like at that point. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below. If you haven't uh, considered subscribing yet, please consider subscribing, consider liking this video consider sharing and put the word out there that hey Quincy the Reefs is here um, and it's great content coming through so please make sure to watch all right guys let's check out this millionaire's rest so that's that's the millionaire's rest right there of course he's gonna be a bit stressed these guys actually go and dig themselves into the sand when they sleep and when they're stressed so I'm pretty sure that's the first thing this guy's gonna do as soon as he gets into my tank but I just wanted to give you a quick view of what he looks like and then we're gonna move on to the mangrove tank all right guys so here you have it here you have the mangroves in the mangrove tank this is the hang on the back filter that I felt was too strong. The water was literally dropping from there and just hitting all the sand and stirring it all up. So I thought that was a bad idea. There's a heater right there, but I'm going to need to add some circulation so then to make sure the water stays warm for these guys. Um, but for now, the this will remain as is. And uh, the longer I take to get a filter, the more often I'll have to do water changes. I don't mind that. And that's it for now. <laughs> 